Right, the Zabba. One of the most underrated vehicles I have seen in GTA Online. And that's not just because it can float on water, although that is pretty cool on its own, don't get me wrong. It's just that it's much more than that. Much more. So let's get started on why I love using this thing in PvP. So let's start off with its explosive resistance. So as you can see in the video, the Zabra is being hit by many RPGs in order to see how truly strong it is. And from this test we can conclude it takes 14 RPGs before blowing up, which to me is quite impressive. To put it in perspective, that's more than the Rhino tank and the Kanjali tank put together. Not to mention this vehicle does not classify as a weaponized vehicle, meaning you can use it in missions such as the Apartment Heists and Doomsday Heists. Another cool thing to the Zabba is that you can have people stand on top of it while driving and they won't fall off. Now I could be wrong about this, but as far as I'm aware this is the only mechanic vehicle that allows you to stand on the roof and not fall off while driving. But like I said, I could be wrong about that. I know for vehicles such as the party bus you can stand on top and not fall off, but obviously the party bus is a Pegasus vehicle and you can't store it in your garage, as well as it only takes one explosive to blow up. Which brings me on to the next thing, which is honestly my favourite thing about this whole vehicle. The back of the vehicle is completely sealed up, meaning that the driver of it cannot be shot up from directly behind, but the driver can shoot out the back. So it's just like the Zentorno, but unlike the Zentorno, it can take some explosive damage before blowing up, so they can't shoot you to death, nor quickly pull out a grenade launcher and kill you with a single grenade. It's going to take a bit more than that to kill you. So how does this truly stack up in PvP in a real situation, you may be wondering? Well, I decided to go into a public session and put it to the test against someone who was only using bullets against me and someone else who was only using rockets against me. So we'll start with the rockets one. So here I am, in reverse, with my heavy revolver. I kill that guy by the turreted limo, and then I see another guy by him. And uh, clearly, he doesn't want to come out to play. So I decide I have to go in myself. And uh, as you can see, nearly hits me with an RPG. I'm like, okay, this dude's firing RPGs. I'll try not to get too close, right? But unfortunately, I cannot hit him from this angle. So I have to go in a bit closer. And then he goes on the stairs, and continuously fires rockets at me. You would think he would at least try bullets, but no, he just continuously fires rockets. And so he is low on rockets, so he tries grenades. Unfortunately, I don't think he realizes how strong this vehicle is. He's probably never seen it before in his life, but that's okay. Everyone's had their first time with something. Anyways, at this point, I realize, yeah, I'm not really going to win, so I decide to draw him out. I decide to go away and repair the damage he's done, so that when he attacks me again in a new spot, he won't be able to do that again. Anyways, I drive off, and then I drive back, and then I realise that the person who's been firing explosives at me is coming back my way. So I decide to uh, confront him. And as you can see, he's very scared of this vehicle, to the point where he drives around it. Little does he know that this thing is as light as a feather, and actually, I would end up driving over him. And as you can see here, there is a big crash. The bike person poses no threat to me, so I ignore him. And I instead decide to go after the person in the car, as that is the person who attacked me originally. I see that this person on the bike decided to shoot at me, but I just ignore it and move on because I've got bigger targets. And as you can see, this dude here, he realizes that I'm here, tries to get out and kill me. Nope, I kill him. And as I'm turning around, the dude on the bike decides to attack me and fails. He falls off it, I go ahead, turn around, shoot him, and he kills over and dies. The end of him. And now, Mr. Explosive himself is coming down the street, and I clock this so I get ready and get in position, waiting for him to come around that corner and fire the inevitable grenade at me, because he cannot use a gun. Anyways, he peers round, I miss, and he misses his grenade too. And then he peers round a second time, and I shoot him dead. And now he is respawned up here where he lays a trap down with bombs, and I fall into it. Luckily, the Zabba can take a hit. Now here's the thing, I'm expecting him to fire grenades at me, what does he do? He blows himself up. He had a good chance to lay some damage, but he didn't. Anyways, we move on. 
Now he tries the same thing again. Nope, I know what he's doing now. And now, my aim here wasn't the greatest, as I clearly should have hit him at least once during this, but I didn't. I can only blame myself for that. And I know he's now just going to throw sticky bombs at me, because he doesn't want to go through all of his grenades. And here is where he truly has a good chance to kill me, if I'm right. As I pull out my AP pistol to try and kill him, it doesn't work. He ends up tipping over my Zaba and gets two good grenade hits on me. But unfortunately it tips me over and I'm back on my feet. So now I realise I'm low, I need to keep my distance and try and shoot him from afar. And here is where he does something truly dumb. Rather than shoot me, he shoots himself in the foot, which allows me to have enough time to go to Losano's customs and repair all the damage he's done to my Zaba, making all that damage pointless. And just like that, all the damage is undone. We are now back to square one. And as I come around the corner, I notice he is now on the run. I push onwards in an attempt to cut him off, but for a brief second there, I see him change direction. So I turn around and go after him from there. And now I'm on the lookout for anything unusual. And as if it needed to be any more obvious, that's him. So obviously, I give chase. I'm thinking that he's going to try and go into one of those roads on the right, but no, he goes in a straight line. He could have easily lost me there, considering he is actually faster than I am. And I can see him try and going down into the sewer tunnel, so I follow through. And here is where he attempts to lay a trap on me. So he blocks off the tunnel with his car. And obviously, because this thing's so big, it can just drive over it. Now here is where he tries to fire RPGs at me and then hide. But unfortunately, it would have just been better if he just stood there, because I can't really do anything. And I make a huge issue in trying to run him over, and instead, I fall off the edge. And now, it seems I am trapped. But, his own plan failed. And he frees me. And I'm like, right, he's just going to fire RPGs, I can just pull out the AP pistol and blast them. And that's exactly what I do. And his plan has failed. And now, I see that he's on the bridge, but I think he's on that little slope there. So I decide to proceed with caution. However, I realise he is not there, he is on the bridge, and is said he's just going to try his old tactic of fire rockets. So now, I know exactly what he's doing. And here, I feel like he's about to commit suicide with his rocket, so I decide to try and get in and get an easy kill. However, he beats me to it by firing a rocket straight at the ground. As I'm about to enter, I'm looking at the radar. He's on his menu. What is he doing? He's leaving. Well, see you later. Good game. What's wrong with her now? Now here's how the Zabba does against actual gunfire. Originally, this was not meant to be a fight, but it turned out that way, and gave a perfect example of how well the Zabba stands up to gunfire with the back being sealed off. So, here I am, going to a close to right, and I get a little bit suspicious. I think this dude is either on the side or on the roof, because I don't recall anyone being in that position. So I do a bit of reconnaissance on the store, trying to see if I can see where he is, or if he's in the store or not. Then I realise with his bike there, oh okay, he is in the store, I run over it, and I'm a little surprised that my Sherp doesn't destroy that thing, but it is what it is. Anyway, I park up, and I get out. And then he walks out of the store. I get my guns ready just in case he pulls his, right? And I was not expecting this, so I walk past him willy-nilly, he disappears, and shoots me in the back of the head. And I have no clue what's just happened. 
So I'm like, okay, he wants to fight and he's running back in the store. He's trying to hide from me. Game on. And here, I know he'll be hiding inside the store, so I decided to chuck a few grenades at it to see what would happen. And obviously, it does nothing. And then I remember that this glass isn't bulletproof, so I shoot through and kill him. And then I decide to get in my Zabba so that fun can begin. And here is where I literally get the drop on him. So I go over this ledge in the Zabba with the back of my vehicle facing him. And as you can see, he's trying to shoot me, but to no end. Because, as I said, the back of the vehicle is completely sealed. I mean, no matter how many times he shoots, it's not going to kill me. And I kill him that easily. And here is where I've noticed he has spawned at the end of this road. But I'm suspecting he's going to try and snipe me, so here I am doing some zigzags. Anyway, once I get to the end of here, I do a 180 on the spot and go in reverse. And I was suspecting he's going to pull out his special carbine any moment now and try and shoot me. However, he realises that the back is sealed and attempts to get in front of me. Very smart move. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite get the drop on me because the front windscreen actually has a bit of bulletproof protection. It takes about 17 bullets to break through, so it's going to take quite a while for him to break through it. And here, I get in front of him way more than he can sneak up on me. And I land one shot, and then he runs down. I realise he's always going to try and get ahead of me, so I now know his plan. And here is where I land the killing blow. And this time he is spawned over here by Lester's Garment Factory. Unfortunately for him, the battlefield is now a downward slope, meaning that it's going to be a lot harder to get the drop on me. He was also being attacked by someone else, but he quickly dealt with him before returning to me. And here is where he makes a huge mistake. He decides to go into cover, but unfortunately for him, he's still sticking out, so I shoot him dead. And now this is the part where I make a huge mistake in not being completely faced away from him as well as missing an EV shot. So here I am swerving to make it harder for him to hit me and then I knock him over. And here I miss an easy shot. Should have got that. And now he decides to go behind the truck and try and get up on me which he does and gets the kill. Well played. And now I spawn down below the road with no direct route to him and I start to hear grenades being fired so it's obviously trying to destroy my Zabba. Because I'm not in his sightlines, I know it's safe to pull out a nano drone, so I decided to fly up to him and blow him up in order to save my Zabba. Now, this is very weird what happens here. So, as I make my way over to him, he, uh, he's starting to torch it, right? You know, to set fire to it to do even more damage. But here's the thing as I kill him, I notice that he's destroyed my vehicle, but my vehicle is still there. And just to be on the safe side, just in case it's about to blow up or something, I decide to send it to storage so I don't have to call Moore's Mutual, and so I can call it again. Because he's already got the worst of both worlds. He's paid it, and he hasn't actually destroyed it. Win-win. And at this part, he just decides to leave, so GG for that. Also, just a quick notice for all of those watching this within the first three days of this video being uploaded. The Zabba is currently on the casino podium, so now would be a really good time to get this awesome vehicle for free. Hopefully, you'll be luckier than I was earlier. RP, my favourite! So anyways guys, that's the end of the video and I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.